guys, my name is Gwyneth Gemsicle and welcome to a walkthrough of the Raiders of the Lost Artifacts quest within Sims Free Play. This quest is part of the main series of quests within Sims Free Play. And as soon as it becomes available to you, you will get this pop-up that says the quest is available to you. You have to be at level 10 and you have to have completed the previous main quests to get this pop-up. This is a time limited quest. We have two days in which to complete it. It says complete this quest within the time limit to gain access to the mysterious island's treasure chest. So in the previous quest, we unlocked the mysterious island. If you Let's get started on the quest. So the first thing that we need to do is to go to mysterious island. So we haven't been over to mysterious island before. We unlocked that in the previous mysterious island quest that we had. Just by completing this quest, we will uncover the secrets of the monuments that are over on the mysterious island. And if we complete it within the time limit, we will get this little treasure chest that has LPs and simoleons and all sorts of different things that are pretty cool to have. The first thing we need to do is to head on over to mysterious island for the first time. The bridge is done. Full steam ahead to the mysterious island. To travel to the island, tap on the bridge icon on your town map. So if you just come out of that, we now have this bridge built. So we have our normal sim town that we have had. We can now head over to the mysterious island, a new area within our game. So we have headed over there and now we need to tap on a monument. Wow, what a beautiful island. There are ancient ruins all over the place. Tap on the ruins closest to the bridge. Before we tap on the ruins, let's just take a little look. So this is a whole new area. As you can see, there are places we can build. We have houseboats over here that are locked at the moment to us. We can't do that at the moment, but we have lots of house places that we can build. We have various different locations what we need to first do is to just tap on this location here there are four monuments all together and then there is one huge thing in the middle like the big volcano that we will see as well but for now we've tapped on our first monument now we need to read the big book of stuff I think these are the ruins of an impressive monument. From the looks of it, it had magical qualities for creating wealth. Your sim should rebuild it. Simply find all of the missing pieces and put them back together. First, you might need to learn a little about archaeology though. Read the big book of stuff. So we need to go and head to a house and read the big book of stuff from a bookshelf. I'm going to take a look in the home store to see what bookshelves we have. So in the living room section of the home store, I'm going to see what we can get bookshelf wise, whether we can get a three star, depending upon what level you are at this point, you can maybe get more, you can maybe get less than me. But we have, we have a two star bookshelf here, elegant bookcase. So I'm going to place that down in this house. I'm going to put it in the bedroom there. And let's click on it and read big book of stuff is 21 hours and 30 minutes over in the top right. Melissa has finished reading the big book of stuff but just before we go over and see her I want to give you a little tip as we move forward. In the next quest we're going to have to buy something from the Promotions Are Us store. So the Promotions Are Us store is out here on the town map and it's where you can buy hobby and career items. Click on it and get this built now because if you need to build it when the quest comes up, the next quest comes up, then you might run out of time. So definitely get it started now. For me, it's going to take 12 hours, it costs 7500 and I need six sims for you. That may be different if you have built other buildings in your town, but I'm going to get that started. And she has finished that. Now we need to eat leftovers from a fridge. Hey, did you see that? You found an artifact in the encyclopedia. Wow, you didn't even need to dig. Maybe there are more located around the place. Try looking in other random places, such as the fridge. While you're there, enjoy some leftovers. So just go ahead and click on a fridge and leftovers is 18 seconds on this two star fridge. We've finished eating. Now we need to search for artifacts in the garbage. Hmm, 
Nothing in the fridge. Maybe some of the artifacts were thrown out in the garbage. Search for the artifacts in the garbage. So to do this first, what we have to do is go and kick over a bin. So kick over for two seconds. And then once it's kicked over, click on it and search for artifacts is eight minutes and 30 seconds. Now we need to find the third artifact. Hey, you found one! That's two of the three artifacts needed to build the first monument to level one. They seem to be scattered all over the place. Have Sims keep searching for them by doing random actions. Note, artifacts are found randomly upon completion of any regular Sim actions, such as using objects, baking or gardening. So what I would suggest to do for this is just do quick actions, either come over and use the toilet for six seconds or do plant some peppers for 30 seconds, have a quick rinse in the shower for five seconds. You'll just have to do that a couple of times until it pops up that you have found the third artifact. Bingo! You found all the three artifacts now. So that didn't take me long. Literally on like the second action that I did, I found the third one. So shouldn't take you long whatsoever. Just do some short actions to find the third artifact. That's enough to upgrade the first monument, the Riches of Terror, to level one. Go and do it now. Note, to upgrade a monument, simply tap on its icon and then tap Build Now button. You can also use Lifestyle Points to purchase missing resources. So let's head out onto the town map. Also, whilst we're out here, the Promotions or Us store has finished building there. That's the one that we need for the next quest. But let's go over to Mystery Island. And the first monument is here. As you can see, we've got enough of the items that we need to upgrade it to the following level. These do take a long, long time. You can see we've got that one there. We have this one. Where are the others? <laughs> there's, they're around. Oh, there's one here and there's one here. They take a long, long time. And we've got the big volcano in the center of the island. When I say a long time, I mean an incredible long, years and years of playing the game. If you don't cheat in the game, they, I am, on my game that I've been playing since the start, I don't think I've even leveled them up to their highest level. So yeah, I'm six years in and still not done it. They take a long time to upgrade, but let's go ahead and upgrade this to level one. And that's task complete. And that is 100%. That is quest complete as well. And we did complete it within the time limit. Congratulations, you completed the Raiders of the Lost Artifacts quest. Get out there and explore the island to unlock all of its secrets. Since you completed the Raiders of the Lost Artifacts quest in record time, you've unlocked the treasure chest. Find it on the coast near the mysterious island. So we'll go ahead and check that out in a second. The next quest that becomes available to us is the Need for Steed quest. And we are going to unlock horses in this quest. And also various different horse hobbies. So we've got horse tricks, show jumping. And another one that I just can't remember off the top of my head. There's three different horse hobbies. Let's check out the prize that we got for completing this quest. So we need to go over to Mystery Island. And over at the island there is, if you come up here... There is a treasure chest there waiting for us to collect. This prize, from what I can remember, is really worth getting because there's quite a lot of XP, uh, LP, money, artifacts for building the monuments inside this chest. But let's go ahead and open it and see what we get. I don't know whether it's always the same or whether people can get different items. Let me know actually down below what you managed to get. I think probably it's the same, but I'm not entirely sure. So I've got some artifacts there. We've got 5 LP, 17,500 uh, simoleons and 3,000 XP. So just for the money and the, the LPs and that, it's really, really worth it. So that is excellent. Really pleased with that. Oh, and look, we have enough resources to upgrade the Riches of Terror. So we can go over to... We can go over, come back over here to the Riches of Terror. And we have enough now to upgrade to the second level. That's what you just need to keep doing with these. You just need to keep on coming in and upgrading once you have found enough artifacts. You just find them just by doing actions. The only monument we have at the moment 
available to us is the Witches of Terror and we are now at level 2. So it's just, like I said before, it's just something that you just continue doing throughout the whole of the game and you've got to be patient. It takes a long time. We'll, uh, we'll get there though with it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it has helped you out with the quest. Leave below your comments for the sims that you want adding into your town. I will get round to as many as I can. I say this every time. I'll get round to as many as I can. And also, we will get a bit more involved in their stories once we get a break from these quests. At the moment, we haven't had a quest that isn't just a quick two-day turnaround. But thank you so much for watching this. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.